The Math Appreciation Society, or the MAS, is a student club at Tasmania State University. The MAS chapter at Tasmania State University is holding its annual election, and their four candidates running are Abel, Becca, Candace, and Daniel. We'll call them A, B, C, and D for short. The preference schedule for the MAS officer election is given below. Determine the winner using the board account method. With the board account method, each place on the ballot will have a point value associated with it. And so in order to do that, you would start at the last choice and assign that a point value of one and work your way up the ballot. So here, the third place choice is going to have two points, second choice will be three points, and first choice would be four. Now, if there were more than four choices on there, we would continue um, going up. And so the next one up would be worth five points, and the next one up six points, and so on. In order to do these calculations, so for every vote that they have in as the first choice will be worth four points, second choice worth three points, third choice worth two points, and last place worth one point. So for candidate A, we're going to have four and then times the number of votes they had in first place, plus three times the number of votes they had in second place, plus two times the number of votes they had in third place, plus one times the number of votes they were in last place, and that will give us the total number of board of points they have. So candidate A was first choice on 14 ballots, and they were second place on none of the ballots. They were in third place on none of the ballots, and they were in last place on 10 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1, and so that would be a total of 23 ballots. And 4 times 14 plus 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0 plus 1 times 23 gives us a total of 79 points. Do the same thing for candidate B. So candidate B was first on four ballots. They were second on 14 plus 10 or 24 ballots. They were in third place on eight plus one or nine ballots. And they weren't in last place at all. Four times four plus three times 24 plus two times nine plus one times zero gives us a total of 106. Doing the calculation for candidate C. Candidate C was in the first choice on 11 ballots. They were second choice on eight ballots. They were third choice on 14 and 4, so 18 ballots, and they were not last place on any of the ballots. 4 times 11 plus 3 times 8 plus 2 times 18 plus 1 times 0 should give you a total of 104. Doing the calculation for candidate D, Candidate D was in, was first choice on eight ballots. They were second choice on five ballots. They were third choice on 10 ballots. And they were last choice on 14 ballots. So we have four times eight plus three times five plus two times 10 plus one times 14. And that should give you a total of 81. So the candidate that has the most points is the winner. So B wins. Give a ranking of the candidates. So this will be the candidate with the most points down to the least number of points. Candidate B is first on our list with 106 points. Candidate C is second with 104 points. 
and then candidate D with 81 points, and then finally candidate A with 79 points. And who was the plurality winner when we um, did this in our in a previous video? So the plurality winner, remember, is the, the candidate that has the most first place votes, and in this case that would be candidate A. And what was the ranking of the candidates using the plurality method? And if we go back and take a look, the ranking for the plurality method was candidate A, candidate C, candidate D, and candidate B. So the rankings here, um, the middle two candidates stayed the same, but the first and last place candidates were switched. So with the plurality, candidate A was the winner, candidate B was in the last place, but with the board account, candidate B is in the first place and candidate A is in the last place. So candidate A and B are switched. So that's it for this example. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks.